it's Courtney. I'm back with another video, and today I am gonna do like a glam and gore, or glam and gore, glam and gore style video. Which oof, I know her name is a little mm, right now. I get it, but listen, I've come to the conclusion that no YouTuber. Okay, so if Every YouTuber is human. They're only human. I'm, I don't consider myself a YouTuber because this isn't my job. Um, this isn't what, you know, I, I can't make a living off of this. So I'm not technically a YouTuber. I create videos, um, but they're a hobby. So anyways, um, but even me. If you expect me to be perfect and you expect me to never do anything that you don't agree with or you don't like, I'm going to let you down. 10 out of 10 times, eventually, I'm going to say or do something that you don't agree with. And that's just the reality of it. Um, they're human. Everybody is human. Nobody is above mistakes or saying shit that... That they don't even realize that they're saying things that are just not good to say. Um, in the moment, she probably wasn't thinking. I'm, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just saying that I've I, recently I've come to figure out that I'm not going to hold YouTubers to a higher standard than I would hold myself. Um, I don't expect anybody to look up to me and expect me to be at a higher standard because I make videos. So I can't expect that of anybody else. So that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, because she's been in a little bit of a, you know, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. She just wasn't a very good friend. And she did some things that made her friend feel, she, she committed microaggressions, okay? It is what it is. Um... And did she mean to do it? I don't know. Um, I don't know. And I wasn't there, and I wasn't the person that was getting those messages, so I can't tell you she's wrong either. She feels how she feels, and uh, that's that. So, anyways, still though, gonna do a Glam and Glore style video, and this part of the video is going to be the glam part. So let's get all Halloween glammed up right now, and then... After we're done getting all glammed up, we're going to get all gloried up too. So, I'm going to use these today because I haven't really done, used them in a video and I freaking love these things. Now, one thing I do have to tell you guys because I know I do a lot of reviews for this brand and I know that very rarely do I say anything negative. Um, and I'm not going to look for something negative to say just to prove that if there's a problem that I'll bring it up. Um, no, if there's a problem with the products, I will bring it up. Um, I do reviews, and I do get these products for free, but if there's a problem with the product, I want you to know about it, because I don't want you to order it and then get it and be like, why did you lie? Why did you say this is awesome and it's fucking piece of shit? Um, I would feel terrible. So, just want to put that out there. So, I do want to tell you guys, with these, and this isn't even really a problem, this is just something to be aware of. So, I wore this the first day. Well, it was there's a fly in here. I wore this one. Freaking beautiful. Purple to a green. Um, this one is Empire. And just beautiful colors in here. But the first night I wore it, wore beautifully for the few hours that I wore it. But the second day, now this is my mistake, but I want you guys to know too in case you decide to buy these. I put on one layer, and it might have been the fact that I used this as well. I used my uh, primer, po or not primer potion. I always want to call it primer potion. Um, I used my 24-hour eye insurance. I'm not going to use that today, so we'll see how it does. But anyways, I did two layers of this. I let it completely dry and then put a whole other layer on top of it. And it stayed on my eyes. It didn't flake off. But it wanted to. It was like, I think it's because I just put too thick of a layer on. And it was starting to crinkle up. It looked like tin foil on my eyes. Um, which I should have known better. Because obviously it's liquid. It's it's going to dry into a layer. 
Um, so just don't, if you want to wear these, they are buildable, but don't layer them too thickly because it will not be comfortable and it will crease and crack. Um, and that's, that's that. Um, I don't really think it's that big of an issue. Like I said, just something to be aware of if you're going to wear these kind of eyeshadows. So we are going in with, and we're only going to do one layer. Shining Peach. And like I said, only one layer because we don't want to upset the shimmer gods today. We want them to be nice and happy and pretty on our face. So basically what the amount that I would use is however much you can get on your brush with one dip. So you can use what's on the back end of it and everything. Just don't go in and get a whole nother um, dollop, I would say. So, it's Punky's mom. She probably wants her to come up there and go to a, a party, but Punky doesn't want to go. They've already asked her like three times. She said she does not want to go. She wants to go trick-or-treating. Oh, she's asking about her wig that she got her. She bought her a wig at Walmart. Because we weren't going to... Okay, so here's the thing. We were not going to do costumes this year because we thought that they were going to cancel Halloween. We were about positive of it because they canceled school for the first month um, of school. So we were like, there's no way they're going to have Halloween if they're canceling school and everything else. Um, blah, blah, blah. Well, come to find out, they never even thought about canceling Halloween. It was, like, always on. They were they were not planning on even talking about it. Um, like I said, it was just on. They were not going to cancel. So, we find that out. Let me go and get, like, one more tiny little bit, because this isn't dry yet. Um, okay, so let's see. Since I put this on before... It dried. Let's see how it dries. Um, so, um, we weren't going to buy costumes this year. We already agreed, and we were like, okay, well, since we're not buying costumes, then we'll go to Fright Farm, and we're going to go to Trans Allegheny, um, because, you know, and that one was too scary for the kids, so we decided to just go, me and, me and Mike, on that. But even that one, it was, you know... $70 for us to go. Well, then, like, a week ago, Patience is like, we figured out they were having Halloween, and she's like, well, I want to be this, and we're like, dude, we're not buying costumes. We already agreed not to buy costumes, so she bugged us and bugged us and bugged us, and she went up to her grandma's, uh, last weekend, I believe, and they went to a secondhand shop, and they found the outfit that she needed, and then, um, and she came home and she's like, well, I have the outfit. So we went on Amazon and bought her the mask, which is 12 bucks. Um, but we were like, now the hair, you're going to have to figure it out. Because like, like we said, we weren't going to buy costumes. We didn't buy autumn costumes. So it wouldn't be fair to, you know, buy her a whole new costume and not buy autumn anything. So we're like, you're going to have to figure out the hair yourself. So she called her mom and she was like, will you please get me a blue wig of some sort? Because, you know, I need it. And of course her mom said, Where's all your dad's money? Nee, 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 nee. It's like, dude, I'm her stepmom, and I have bought her a hundred times the amount of stuff that her and mother's bought her her whole life. And every time she asks her mother for anything, it's, well, why doesn't your dad buy it? But, dude, you don't pay child support. You do not support her in any way. Not with love. Not with monetary not with caring not in any kind of way so the least you could do 
is if she asks for 10 bucks, give it to her. At least show her you care in one way or another. But she doesn't, so. Makes sense. She's like, well, they always buy Alicia stuff, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yes, because they don't want, Alicia don't want to leave up there because they live off of her. They get a social security check for her. Well, they get a disability check for her. So they don't want Alicia to leave because they don't want to lose that extra check and food stamps and everything else that they get for her being there. And it's sad, but, I mean, that's just what it is. And, you know, if I can make my kid feel better by telling her that it's not, it's not just you. There's a reason why uh, they play favoritism. You have nothing for them to benefit off of. So, and not only that, but they don't like it that she wanted to be down here and she wanted to live with us. So, but still your kid even though we have custody of her that's still your kid she literally basically makes the comment that since we got custody of her her responsibility is absolved and it's like i've heard so many deadbeat dads use that excuse but hearing it come out from a mother is just it's like what horrible okay so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So, I did this just to show you guys. So, I put it on a little thicker on the outer corner of my eye. On this side. This side is really smooth and perfect. And then this side, see how it's a little crunchy looking? And, I mean, that's going to happen with liquid eyeliners. It's just going to happen. Literally, I got one from the dollar store. And those ones they chip off they get in your eyes and oh they're horrible these ones for anybody that didn't watch my first video just let me show you these are awesome um, I'm gonna put a little bit of the purple one on my arm this one's Comet super pretty We're going to just leave that there and let it dry for a minute. And I'll show you guys how hard I can rub on it without it coming off. It's crazy. Um, you have to use a makeup remover on these um, for them to budge. Like my white up here, I wanted it really, really bright today. And it's flaking off everywhere. So, you know. I'm going to go ahead and do a... Oh, it smells good. It smells so fresh. I just wanted to do that though. Because my, like I said, this this up here, I use like a powder white and it's wanting to flake off everywhere. So, I'll probably just throw that away. Or I might give it to my kid because she doesn't care. She just uses it for looks. Okay, so there's the orange though. Now, let's get, maybe go in with a little bit of this, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So now let's go in with, let's see, I got my Bubble Nebula, mm, nothing in there that really, Can uh, Splashy Candies, nothing in there that really, I guess I could go with a dark orange, but I want a black color um, to go in the crease, I'm going to do like a berry cola Ooh, maybe that's a maybe there's a fly in here well it's a net and it's oh I'm like Barack Obama <sighs> catching flies okay so maybe that one maybe it's crazy because I'm I've got all my palettes that I use the most out right now and it's all you can be. This one's a wet and wild. This one's color spell. Um, but you can be, you can be, you can be, you can be, you can be. And then my moon shadow palette, which I'll be using that on my cheeks. Um, let's go with this one. And. Which one did I say I was going to get? 
So maybe on that one. Not these two. I didn't really see a black that looked that great. That's such a pretty color. But it's one of those like foil ones. So they never look the same on your eye as they do in the palette. Um, there's just a matte black maybe on that one. So we'll set that to the side. What's this one got? I kind of want a sparkly black. This one's got a another matte black. They're obviously they're the same brand, so they're gonna be the same black. Probably. I'm guessing they're about the same. Um, this one's got black. It's got two blacks. Oh, I might go in with that one. There's the matte black here, but then this has got like the sparkly purple and blue glitters in it. I think I might go with that one. I don't know if you can see that. That's cute. Yeah, I think I might go with that one. Maybe. 